a week prior to the Jones Cup, the Samhang Basketball NG Pilipinas were scrambling on who to send to the annual tournament that has become a tradition in Philippine basketball. It was either send the 23 for 2023 heel as cadets, a team that had potential but have yet to gain chemistry, or the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Prior to being chosen as the country's representative, Ateneo had just come from a grueling schedule. They had just finished off their campaigns in preseason tournaments Smart City Hoops, Phil Oil Flying V Premier Cup presented by Chooks to Go, and Smart Breakdown Basketball Invitationals. In addition, they had just come from a series of games in Greece. And coach Tab Baldwin was first to admit that they were not ready to represent the country for the Jones Cup. Somehow it's taken its own life because of its importance. What isn't just is we were really not ready to represent the country, not ready to represent Ateneo. We wanted to begin by representing ourselves to be ready for September 8, the renowned strategist said during the Chooks to go hosted homecoming for the team Tuesday. It was a bit premature to put this team with such a heavy burden. Dot making things tougher for the young squad was that they were put in a tough position. During the nine-day tourney, each team was allied at a day break. Ateneo Pilipinas came during the opening day of the competition, forcing them to play eight games in eight days. It was the cards dealt. Ateneo Pilipinas played on, finishing with a gallant 5-3 card, barely missing out on a podium finish. I think it's a testimony to the character of the team. I think that's the character that boss Ronald Mascarinas and the entire country seem to admire. It's that character that makes them true sportsmen, Baldwin further. The expectations were different. I think we surprised a lot of people, maybe even ourselves, 